Uh, Kiswahili, Kinyarwanda, Kiingereza. Kiswahili, <laughs> Kinyarwanda. Ha, ni Okay. Karibu sana kidogo. Asante sana. Amakuru. Asante sana. Uh, my name is Engineer Harris Said. Ni rais wa club ya Young Africans. Leo tuko hapa. Anaitwa Kichukiru. Kichukiru. Katika makao makuu ya World Food Program. Uh, on behalf of Young Africans and the rest of the leaders, uh, technical staff under uh, Miguel Gamondi, our head coach, but more likely, uh, Rafiki Tulokwanawa Karib Sana, president of APR, and by Pia Mungana Nasisi Hapa, Wana Habari, Lakini Pia Kotpeke, Ubalozi, Wa Tanzania, Udio Kwepo Hapa, Rwanda, Mukokilishua um, Nakangu uh, Moses, Lakini Pia. Wajumbe wa kamati ya utendaji, executive committee members of our, of our club. Pamoja na mwakilishi kutoka wizara ya hapa Rwanda inayoshughulika na mambo ya maafa na wizara ya mambo ya nje. Nchukua fursa hii, um, uashukuru sana watu wote ambao meshiriki katika kuandaa event hii. In short, event hii au tukio hili, ni tukio ambalo linafanywa na club ya Young Africans uh, kurudisha kwenye jamii ya wanyo Rwanda. Uh, tukumbuke mwezi wa tano, mwaka elfu mbili na ishiri na tatu, tukio uh, la mafuriko ambao litokea hapa uh, Rwanda, ya ambalo liweza kupoteza maisha ya watu wasio pungua miya moja na temanini, lakini kiacha mamia ya nyumba na miundo mbili kadhaa ikiwemo barabara, hospitali na majengo kadhaa muhimu katika maendeleo ya nchi hii, ya liweza kuchukuliwa na mafuriko kachila mbali uh, uh, maisha ya watu ambao pia alipotea kutokana na mafuriko hayo club ya Africans iliona ni muhimu wakati ikiwa inakuja kucheza mchezo wake hapa Kigali dhidi ya club ya El Merek utakaochezwa kesho iliona ni muhimu kurudisha kwenye jamii ya Wanyarwanda ambao sehemu ya jamii hiyo imekuwa ki support club yetu so we have well, a lot of fans here in Rwanda there is a big support of young africans in Rwanda in exchange to that assist kama viongozi we have taken an opportunity of uh, returning to the community of Rwandese. Uh, support ambayo Young Africans inaifanya kama charity ni culture ambayo ipo muda mrefu uh, kwenye club yetu hii. Tumokuwa kifanya kwenye mechi zetu zote ambazo tunacheza, kurudisha kwenye jamii ambayo ina mahitaji. Tunapeleka kwenye watoto ya tima, uh, wakina mama ambayo wako kwenye wodi za hospitali, watoto ambayo ni wagonjwa, uh, lakini pia watoto wa mitaani ambao wana difficulties in life lakini pia wazee na watu kadhaa ambao wana mahitaji maalumu na safari hii tukiwa hapa Kigali tumeleta mchango wetu kwenye jamii ya watu ambayo walipata madhara ya mafuriko yaliyotokea hapa uh, Rwanda mchango wetu kama Young Africans utakuwa ni mifuko mbili ya cement ambayo tunaiona hapa nyuma yetu 200 bags of cement lakini pia uh, kutokana na nafasi iliyokuepo tutachangia pia uh, mabati sabini ya kisasa kabisa yatakayoenda pia kusaidia community ambayo uh, imepoteza nyumba zao na makazi baada ya kutokea mafuriko hayo kama nilivyosema uh, jamii ya ya Wanyarwanda ilipata shida na sisi kama Young Africans lazima tutie mkono wetu katika to support community ambayo imepata shida hiyo so nichukue fursa hii kwa uchache kabisa ukabidhi uh, mifuko hii ya cement ambayo iko mbele yetu lakini pia kuchukua fursa hii pia baadaye kukabidhi mabati ambayo yatakayokuja hapa na kupokelewa na wizara inayohusika na uh, mahusiano ya kimataifa lakini pia maafa katika serikali ya Rwanda baada ya kukabidhi hapa uh, tutakuwa sasa uh, sisi kama Young Africans tumetekeleza act of charity ambayo imekuwa ni culture yetu kila tutakapokuwa tucheza mechi za ugenini lakini zaidi ya hapo ni washukuru sana wanahabari wa hapa Rwanda ambao mmejitokeza kwa wingi kuja kuifikisha message kwenye public lakini pia nawaona uh, wanahabari pia kutoka Tanzania ambao wako na sisi hapa ambao pia wamekuja kufikisha ujumbe huu. Kwa ujumbe ni muhimu sana ya kwamba sisi ni jamii moja wa Tanzania wenye Rwanda wote ni jamii moja ni wa Afrika ni wa East Africa uh, shida itakayompata mnye Rwanda ni sawa sana shida itakayompata mtanzania na sisi kama Afrika wote lazima tuungane kwa pamoja kuja kusaidiana pale ambapo kutakuwa kuna shida. 
nichukue fursa hii pia kuwashukuru sana uh, kumshukuru sana president wa IPR thank you for making your time and joining us here uh, and we wish you all the best on sunday i know you have a tough challenge uh, against uh, pyramids but we wish you all the best on behalf of young africans tunawatakia APR na Rayon Sports za hapa Rwanda katika mashindano ya kimataifa zifanye vizuri asante sana we appreciate eh? and i think we, we are in the process of constructing more houses to those affected so we still welcoming uh, kind of the nation to us uh, i think again i thank the, the young africans club for this charity yes sir uh, we i will convey the message to my authority or my management i think we waiting while waiting the iron sheets we can say thank you and uh, good day for you you see okay inkunga inkunga twakiriye turayishimiye turayishimiye ni inkunga komeza kudufasha mu kubakira abaturage bahuye nibiza kandi hii kipe yakoze ibintu byiza cyane ni ubutware nabandi barabikoze twakiriye inkunga nyinshi tudufasha kusubiza mu buzima busanzwe abahuye nibiza so nashimiraga mu buryo bwa rusange nabandi turategereje ko badufasha hanyuma tugafasha abaturage bizaba hanga hijya gufasha abaturage ntabwo Tibikano mustoas, if Tabatura give a chile, first couple of Tiba, so is a Vahija Kuafash. And if it is in Sinzi, if it is in Sinzi, a cheap pair was at the fashion. Yes, ah, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I want to just to, to, to say, uh, have, have a win, a win game. So don't be a loser, because you, <laughs> uh, you you have to be a winner on that uh, that event that you're having tomorrow. Yeah. So, and, uh, thank you. Yeah. Very good question. Uh, thank you very much for that question. Actually, uh, the main reason of the president of uh, APR to attend this was uh, the courtesy call that I made to him. Initially, he sent me a text yesterday. Um, to welcome me in, in Rwanda, and I've taken the same opportunity to invite him uh, uh, to attend this ceremony as well. So this is a very uh, new beginning of our relationship between APR and Young Africans, and we are going to have um, a lunch or dinner together with the president just to open up the relationship. Um, yes, uh, like I said before, uh, football now has grown beyond uh, boundaries, and we as young Africans we would love to open up relationship uh, across the continent and help one another. As what we've done as young Africans to support the community of Rondiz, it's the same that we can do in football as well, which is our core business. Ni chukwe fursa hii kurekebisha kidogo. Young Africans ina mausiano ya kimkataba na UNICEF na COWFP. UNICEF. Young Africans in a Mahusiano, na UNICEF, na COWFP. Uh, in a Mahusiano, UNICEF, na COWFP. Na laba ni seme Mahusiano hawe ni hapa. Um, young Africans ndio club ya kwanza katika ukanda wa huu wa kwetu kushirikiana na umoja wa mataifa. Na Mahusiano kati Young Africans na UNICEF ni kitu kinaitwa IP, Implementing Partner. Implementing partner ni, ni partner ambaye anafanya majukumu ya United Nation kwa niaba yao. And hiyo concept ilitengenezwa baada ya kuona ya kwamba ziko program nyingi ambazo UNICEF wanataka wazifikishe kwenye jamii. Kupitia Club Young Africans, UNICEF waliona ujumbe ambao wanataka kupeleka kwenye jamii unaweza kufika haraka zaidi. So we've done a number of uh, projects na UNICEF including uh, COVID vaccine uh, awareness. So, kupitia UNICEF ambao walikuwa na mradi wa kuleta chanjo za COVID, waliona kupitia Young Africans, they can pull the crowd, uh, na wanaweza pia kufikisha ujumbe kwa urahisi kuhusu uelewa wa uviko kuminatisa na, na, 
na hizo vaccine za kupitia hapo tulipewa hilo jukumu na tukalifikisha kwenye jamii kupitia wanachama wetu na mashabiki na platform zetu na wanachama ambao walikuwa tayari kwa hiari yao waliweza kufanya chanjo lakini pia tulikuwa tuna project ya pili ambayo UNICEF walileta kwa Young Africans ambayo ilikuwa ni awareness ya kolera uh, kulikuwa kuna outbreak ya kolera Tanzania uh, kolera nafikiri si jumla itaja hapa ni kipindupindu kwa Kiswahili ni ugonjwa wa kipindupindu ambao kupitia UNICEF uh, Young Africans ilipewa jukumu la kufikisha knowledge ya kuhusu uh, kolera na jinsi gani unaweza kujizuia kupata kolera kwa hiyo tumeendelea kuwa uh, IP uh, implementing partner wa miradi ya UNICEF na kwa mahusiano hayo Young Africans imekuwa ikifikisha kwenye jamii ambayo inahitaji kuelimishwa miradi inayohusiana na, na UNICEF. Uh, very good question. Uh, sisi kama Young Africans tunajua uh, kwamba tumekuja ugenini na bahati nzuri mechi imeletwa hapa Rwanda Kigali sisi kwetu ni kama nyumbani. Uh, taratibu za mpira zilivyo home team ndio yenye nafasi ya kupanga uh, wakati gani mechi inachezwa na hizo ni regulations lakini pia viingilio vya mechi uh, ni jukumu la home team kupanga kwa hiyo Merek kitendo cha wao kukuja na bei ambazo ziko juu ni haki yao ya kikanuni wanayo hiyo right ya kufanya hivyo na sisi kama yanga hiyo haitutoi kwenye mchezo kwamba kwa kuwekwa kiwango cha juu labda ita affect uh, performance yetu kwa hiyo tumekuja hapa ugenini lakini nyumbani na maudhui au reason ya sisi kuja hapa ni kutafuta ushindi regardless ya bei ya kiingilio na vitu vingine. Kitu kizuri ni kwamba kama nilivyosema hii kwanza ni haki yao. Elmerek kama home team kuja na mfumo uh, uh, wa kikanuni unawaruhusu kupanga bei. Hata wangepanga uwanja leo uwe bure ni haki yao ya kikanuni. So na chujaribu kusema wametumia haki yao ya kikanuni and we are not complaining about that. Lakini mwisho sisi tumekuja hapa kutafuta matokeo na hizi uh, ni sehemu za challenges ambazo unaweza kaenda vitani kwa kutana nazo. We are ready for the game tomorrow na nichukue fursa hii kuwalika wanya Rwanda wote, wa Burundi wote, wa Tanzania wote ambao wamesafiri kutoka maeneo yao kuja kuiona Young Africans waje kesho tuko tayari kwa ajili ya